What's up guys, Ego Complex Crypto Cauldron. We have an official channel, very pleased to announce on YouTube. What is Crypto Cauldron? We are a Discord trading group formed three days ago. Uh, we have over 70 members now. Uh, very exciting place, really focused on education and making everybody a powerful trader. As traders, we don't have a bias as to whether Bitcoin goes up or down. We are going to make money either way and we've been very successful at it. I have 20 years experience in trading, futures, options, stocks, Forex, and now in the crypto space, and we have a really, really nice track record. I encourage everybody to join. The link is in the description and in the bio. Love to have you there. We are running a promo code, launch 75. You get 75% off. Your first month is $5. Pay $5, come check it out. I think you will love the place. Um, lots of information for there for you there to improve your skills and lots of great people and more coming in every single day Making this video because we have action on Bitcoin. It's very exciting and let's see why we have this action and where it's going so First of all, we have a nice price pump exiting the pennant here. Um, we are trading again just to re recap in a bear pennant because we descend it into the pennant. So by definition, it is a bear pennant. You can see the bottoms here in the pennant of 30,000, 31,000, two hits to the bottom. Uh, this is, this is, I believe, the second or third hit to the top where we broke through. So this is the third hit and we broke through again. So this is a nice shape. It's been very true to form. We are trading in a range, as all of you know, since uh, roughly mid-May from the 30,000 30, level up to the high 39,000 level, we fell into dependent at around 42,000 or so. So that's our range at 10 or 12,000 points going back and forth. And as you guys know, we've had dips almost weekly, I think four weeks in a row now. So this is where we're at in the four hour. Why do we have this pump? Well, let me zoom in here. Stoke RSI, bullish cross down there at the bottom, blue line crossing the orange line, pushing up. We're about at the 80% level, so there's still a little gas here. If there's volume, we should get a little bit more of a price pump. So that's where that's coming from, bullish cross. Now, it is a daytime still in the U.S. It's the evening. However, um, you know, volume tends to drop off at night. This is a nice pump. We've had higher pumps with independent, so this isn't anything that hasn't been happening now for a while. Just wanted to share this with you guys. You can see with independent itself, we have these Kumo clouds from the Ichimoku indicator, red and green clouds. Now the clouds themselves, the shape and size matters because these are thin. You can see how easily the price has been ping-ponging back and forth within this pennant. When the cloud is thicker, such as this big red Kumo cloud, you can see the price go up, hit the edge of the cloud, that bright cherry line on the top, and get rejected. Not once, but twice. The bigger the cloud, the harder the fall. Price fell out. You have the ping pong action going on in the pennant. Let's look at another time frame. It's a four hour. Let's go look at the most important time frame, and I will tell you again for obvious reasons once we get there. This is the Bitcoin daily when this chart loads. Guys, this is the chart to pay attention to. Okay? The other charts can be fun. We can discuss or whatnot, but this. This is where the action is on the daily. So a couple of quick things. We went over this in my previous update. Not a lot's changed. Red Kumo cloud forming. Price tends to follow the Kumo cloud. Now it can punch through it, can break through it. Those are all possibilities. Ichi is predicting this price will trend beneath the cloud, lowering the price here. Now, <laughs> we are independent here as well, as you can see on the daily. And we do have that break that you can see there. We do have what looks like a bearish cross. Let's zoom in and see if it actually crossed yet. May happen today or tomorrow. Obviously daily candles take longer to close, but the blue line is angled down. Looks like it's going to cross. That is not the big deal. That's an important bearish factor. The big deal is the 50 and 200 moving average, that red line and blue line. Okay, this is a death cross. This is a death cross. Now, most of the people making 200K Bitcoin videos really aren't talking about the death cross. Okay, this is an extremely bearish indicator. As a matter of fact, some YouTubers are saying, boom, we'll just power through it. We'll just go right through it. Maybe that'll prevent the cross. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. Um, I do know when that crosses, and this is my assumption, 
This is my theory I'm working off right now. If we are trading basically in this consolidation pattern, you can see it's a consolidation pattern, right? You can see how the price, even though we're having these swings of several thousand points up and down, if you look at it, zoom out view here on the daily, it is a consolidation pattern, meaning it's essentially sideways movement based off of the descent into the pennant. So a bearish pennant with a death cross coming, again, I've said this yesterday, my opinion is this cross, when this occurs, this could easily be the catalyst that sends the price down. And when I'm saying down, my TA, others TA, who look at charting and charting patterns and understand charting patterns, the fall is typically, if you fall from the pennant, especially hard with velocity, is the width of the pennant. Depending on the, the widest part of the width of the pennant, depending where we land, depending where we exit the pennant, if that cross happens and there's enough momentum to push us out, depending where we exit, you're looking at 20 to 23K, 24K Bitcoin, depending where we exit, okay? doesn't mean you will get there. You have money walls of support. You have to revisit old crash sites. We still have to test 30K. You have, you have 28.6 or 28 something uh 28.4 around the fibonacci level you have different levels of support then you have 24.25 then you have a money wall at 20 with thousands of bitcoin just on binance stack there for 20. now there's people predicting lower numbers and then there's other people that just keep saying 200k bitcoin so just buy in because bitcoin's not 200k you want to look at the data guys this is this is trading okay if if it was as easy as saying bitcoin's going to 200k then none of these numbers matter. You don't need to waste time watching any videos because if you just believe Bitcoin's going to 200K, don't even look at the prices, you just buy in because Bitcoin's not 200K now, it's 38. So you got a lot of room there for profit. So if that's what you believe is happening, just buy in. You don't even need to make video updates and inform anybody because that's all that's going to happen is you're gonna make massive amounts of money. And I do believe, having said that, we are in a bull market. Currently in a bear, trading in a bear market with bullish tendencies, after this death cross happens and we are propelled down, we are going to visit the 20s in my opinion. That is going to be our bottom, okay? And from there, I do believe we're going to have a nice, organic, strong recovery. I base that on my conversations with friends, our trading group, professional traders at the bank. That is my opinion. The reason I have that opinion is everybody I talk to says the same thing. People in our trading discord, we are salivating, salivating at the idea of getting some of these coins, these premium coins, these XRPs, these uh, ADAs, these you know V chains at such discounted prices. Nobody I have talked to has said, you know what? If Bitcoin goes to 20K, I'm just leaving crypto. Nobody says that, okay? Everybody says, oh my God, I can't believe it. I might be able to get V chain for two cents, three cents, depending where this goes. I might be able to get XRP for thirty-five cents. These are these. Are, this is this is life-changing money. I want you guys to understand this opportunity. This is life-changing money where you could invest something in a in a solid project that has a lot of room to grow. If you do share that belief, we are in a bull market because that means we will go up and we may hit two hundred k. I don't know. I want to see where this market goes first, but I do know. I have zero reservations about investing in top quality projects at a rock bottom price. That is literally the American dream in crypto. So I wanted to share that perspective with you as well as I want to show you some other things that are happening in YouTube. One of the shapes that's being drawn um, by people with the philosophical viewpoint of 100K, 200K Bitcoin is what's coming right now is a wedge. I, you know, I, I don't know a lot of the people personally in the YouTube space. I do know most of these people are probably good people and they come across as very decent, very well-meaning people. I don't know if everybody has the same knowledge and understanding of actual charting and trading. There's two types of people in the crypto space that I've noticed in YouTube, okay? There's people that are actually traders that call things out for what they are and they are willing to receive the hate for saying things when people get upset because people have emotional investment in their investments, which is not a wise thing to do. And then there are people in the YouTube space that buy everything in the bear market. Some of the biggest names you guys already know that buy things in a bear market and they talk about these extravagant numbers like, you know, 100,000K Ethereum and whatnot. Well, that's fine. We may get there. What most people want to know is I have 10K, I have 50K, I have 5K, I have $500. Where should I buy? Right? That's what traders want to know. We don't want to just say, well, I'll just throw it in now because at some point it'll be 200K or at some point Ethereum is going to be 85K or 100K. We're looking for informed, wise decisions. 
So this is the wedge that's being circulated kind of on YouTube. Some different prominent people are showing this. I just want to share philosophically what I do not like about this pattern. First of all, look at the wicks on the bottom. It literally cuts off the majority of the wicks on these crashes. Okay, that first wick, the 30,000 number there, that happened 519. So 519, just to pull up a couple coins, Matic at a high was $2.34. It went down to $1.03. I feel like that should be represented in the shape that's being drawn. VET chain was 12.5 cents at a high, went down to 5 cents. You're talking about, you know, more than, more than half of the value of a coin going down 50, 65%. Okay, so when you draw a wedge like this, I do not think it is a valid pattern based on the wick placement. You have to encompass the highs and lows of a trading pattern. Now, that's just an opinion. There's lots of books on this. Thomas Bukowski, uh, Triangle Trading Patterns. You can see all this stuff. Forex has a great institute for trading triangles and wedges. You can read some of this literature yourself. But you can draw patterns however you want. This pattern, in my opinion, does not encompass a valid trading pattern. So I do not like it. Now, the other thing I want to go over that I saw on YouTube today, let's look at the monthly. Monthly went over some candlestick patterns. Now, I, I was trained in candlestick trading originally. Candlesticks, for those of you who don't know, was exactly what we're using now in our trading here in the Western world. These were invented in Japan hundreds of years ago. And there's plenty of books on it. We have some extra excellent books that I recommend personally in our TA Learning Center and the Discord group. So people are looking at the monthly, looking for similarities. You see the blue arrow here pointing at a white hammer candle. You see the blue arrow at the top here pointing at another hammer candle saying, look, that pattern looks similar. Black candle, white hammer candle. Granted, that white candle at the top is still open because this is a monthly time frame. However, this pattern is being misread. Okay, I want you to understand this pattern is being misread. So in candlestick trading, you have what's called dojis. Dojis are these candles like the blue candle or the blue line is pointing to right now. That would be a hammer candle. You hear hammer candle, firefly doji, tombstone doji, hanging man, umbrella candle. These are all names of dojis. Okay, the name doesn't matter. The color doesn't matter. The placement of the doji is what matters and the candles around it are what matters and determine the trend. That's very important to know. And again, you can learn about all this stuff in the candlestick trading book, okay? So this candle is being pointed to as the cause of boom, this massive uptrend and ascension in price. This is an inaccurate reading of the candle, okay? The reason this price happened, that this hammer candle actually is trading in a consolidation pattern of sideways movement. Dojis are neutral in sideways movement. The reason this explosion of price happened was this little black, looks like a firefly doji. You can barely see it, but you can see it there on the screen. You have that firefly doji, you have the candle before it, and then you have this candle, the third candle in the candle pattern, which closed above the previous two after sideways consolidation. You can see it better there. You have the white candle form, almost like a little fat spinning top, not officially because the wicks on a doji have to be longer than the real body. But you have that tiny little firefly doji. This is after a consolidation pattern. This candle is the key in a three candle pattern. Close higher. The real body closed higher than the previous two candles. Because it did that, boom, price explosion. Reading candlestick patterns is so imperative to trading. As I said, most traders rely on indicators. But if you can read candlesticks, they are the indicators. Your indicators will give you confirmation of what the candlesticks say. And most traders do that in reverse. So that's today's Bitcoin video. We'll continue to watch this price pump today. See how that goes. Um, and then we will do an update as soon as possible. Great sharing this time with all you guys. Sorry I talk so much. I hope you learned a lot. And uh, we'll talk soon.